will be your addition to sexy hands the scoop please like comment share and subscribe hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when i go live leo as a friendly reminder we all have male and female energies within us although you see genders on the cards keep in mind their energies leo as i'm progressing through the reading if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher feel free to swap the energies energies are fluid leo as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's a link to a free natal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accepted by way of a donations link on the about page of my YouTube channel or by way of cash app at dollar sign sexy tarot. All right, Leo, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. I have a headache, child. This is intended to be a general reading for the beginning of February 2022. Um, Leo, a few ho housekeeping items. Um, E-gift cards are available um, for purchase. There's a link in the description box below. Also, there will be an extended reading to go with the general reading. And if you are interested in diving deeper into the energies, there will also be a link in the description box below. All right, Leo, I'm running late and trying to get it done for you, baby. Spirit, what energies are surrounding Leo to the beginning of February 2022? This read stretches to the 15th of February. What energies are surrounding Leo the beginning of, okay, the first half, I should say, of February? Mm, some of y'all dealing with a cancer. Spirit, what energies are surrounding Leo the first half of February, this February 2022? What energies are surrounding Leo? Spirit, what energies are surrounding Leo the first half of February 2022? Some of you are done with a cancer, and I want to say some of you are done with a Gemini. All right, Leo. So something is shocking you. It's like this revelation. Something was brought to your attention. It's real shocking. And whatever this is, it might involve an Aries or a Scorpio. Um, but whatever this is, it's like you have to take charge of this, but you're afraid to do this. You're afraid to do this because it's going to upset someone or a group of people. That's how I feel. But you're not happy. At the bottom of the deck, the reason for this reading is uncertainty. So, Leo, I feel like you're overthinking. I feel like you've been thinking about this for some time. I feel like a lot of time has passed. I feel whatever you're doing, you feel almost robotic. Like you're just working and working and working. And it feels robotic. And you're trying to figure out where you belong in the world, what it is you want to do, and where it is you want to go. Like, I just feel like you, you're you unfulfilled. At the bottom of the deck, you have curiouser and curiouser. This is almost feeling like the Taurus is reading. And discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. I feel like you're curious about 
what if you take the velvet gloves off and simply told it how it was? I feel like something making you, like, getting on your nerves. Some of y'all are curious about trying drugs. I'm sorry. It looked like I'm cough syrup and a mushroom in her leg. Y'all might be curious if somebody getting high. All right, that's a side note. You have mortality. It's like you feel drained. Like, you like life passing you by. You feel like you're stuck in bounds or something. And I want to be queen. It's like, you want to close something out and put yourself first. I'm feeling like, why can't I get what I want? I feel like you feel restricted and, and, and binded by something. Like, life too short. And you want what it is you want. Yeah, and I feel like you you tired of sacrificing. Like you want to know, like when is it your turn? I really feel like y'all either got Tau Taurus in your chart or y'all Tauruses with Leo in your chart. And Leo, you have lead the way, lead the way. I feel like that you just been hanging on to something for a while. The card reads, be a leader, show others how it's done. You can help others. But that's part of the problem. You helping everybody else. Like, look at everybody like sitting around pecking at you and shit. That's part of the problem. You, you doing for everybody else. Showing them how to do this. Giving them advice for that. Just sacrificing. That's how I feel. Spirit, why is lead the way here for Leo? Why is lead the way here for Leo? Spirit, why is lead the way here for Leo? Please and thank you. Yeah, like it's something holding you back. That's what I keep feeling. And it's just the first part out. Leo, at the bottom of the deck, you have your hard work is paying off. Some of you are done with a Capricorn. The answers you need are coming. Some of you are done with a Gemini. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Some of you are done with a Capricorn. And I feel like you want to have a conversation with somebody about work. Or you want to have a conversation with somebody about can we work on this. I feel like you want to have a conversation to close out something that's arduous. This weighing you down. I, I just feel like you need to have a conversation. And will lead the way and don't let your past hold you back. I, this is what I'm feeling. I feel like something's weighing you down. Like the old way of you doing things, not working. Like almost you need to level up and go towards your purpose. But you just feel stuck because everybody just pecking at you. Just pecking at you. Just needing stuff from you. Show me this, Leo. You got this for me, Leo. Can you help me out here, Leo? And you're getting lost in this, like, melee of confusion. Spirit, you telling Leo, don't let they pass on them back. You want Leo to elevate towards their life purpose and lead the way. Yeah. And as soon as I say that, the star come out, which is about life's purpose. You want something back from the past. You hanging on something from the past. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Wands. You have the Ten of Swords. Mm. And the Magician. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Scorpio. But Leo, what you want to make happen is you want this betrayal, this ending to just be over. 
you you want this baggage this heavy this heavy load this this all this hard work you just wanted to come to a close and that's what you're trying to make happen yeah because you want to take a risk you want to take a leap of faith possibly move homes with a commitment because you suppressing all these feelings inside like you love somebody with this king of cups some of you are dealing with aries with the uh fool's core energy and some of you are dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio energy more specifically scorpio with king of Raphael. And I feel like you got a lot of love and deep emotions for somebody. You want them to move in with you. You want them to move in uh, with, you want to move in with them. Something like that. You you like, I just love them. Maybe, maybe we should be in a commitment. Yeah, like, you want this new path in love. You want to change things. And it's shocking you. That's the shocking revelation with the tower energy. Remember I said it's a shocking revelation. I feel like you're shocking yourself like, damn. I'm hearing that song. I've learned to respect the power of love. Leo, and I feel like you're ready to take the lead. But it's something holding you back from going after what it is you want. Because you're doing everything for everybody else. And with the star card energy, some of you are dealing with Aquarius. It's like spirit is saying, have hope, believe in yourself. That there, this is the end of a difficult situation, but you have to change your perspective. You have to be willing to let things go in order to have this dream come true. To go towards what it is you want to go towards. And the extended, I'm going to find out what is this past holding you back. Spirit, tell me about the star for Leo. Why is the star here for Leo? Because you telling them they got to believe in themselves that this is the end of the difficult situation. The tens are, are the end of the cycle. And you had the ten of wands and the ten of swords. Yeah, you got to let go of something. At the bottom of the deck, you have disruption. You have comfort and reflection. And this is you evaluating the past, looking back on some memories, how your comfort was just disrupted. Like you was cool and something disrupted. This is you, Leo, disrupted your comfort. But you feel confident and strong, like you could bring the momentum back. But you feel like either someone doesn't trust you because they think you're manipulative. Or you don't trust someone because you think they're manipulative. Something like that. So Leo, spirit is saying you have to let go of control. Or there's something you need to let go. Some you need to let go of an Aquarius with cleansing star. But it's like you feel stuck in place. Something's holding you back. And you want to move towards something else. But you have to let go of past behaviors, past thinking, or a person, perhaps. Like you can't control the outcome. You got to let go of control and let spirit help you. Because it's some, when, you, when there's south node energy, See, North Node energy means you're on the right path, headed towards your life's purpose. South Node energy, that's saying you ain't learning no lessons. Spiritual lessons, that is. Spirit, why is the star and cleanse here for Leo? Yeah, let go. Something out into something. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. You have the hermit. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo, and here go that fool card energy. So, Leo, I feel like you did some soul searching. You spent some time alone to get the answers you need. 
And I feel like you made a decision that you want to take a risk to have some sort of communication with someone. This is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I feel like you want to move on to a place of peace and heal things with a queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You want to work this out, collaborate, negotiate. You want a fresh start, but you feel like you restricted from this fresh start. You want to express your love. You want this person to know that they're your soulmate. Leo, spirit is saying that there's a spiritual lesson you need to learn. Like gain a new perspective, like to take control over your destiny, but something's holding you back. You got to let go of control in order to heal, to have your dream come true with justice. Spirit is saying like, there's a karma here. There's a karma here with justice. Some of you are dealing with a Libra. But it's on, It's like somebody did what was best for them by walking away and ending things. Some of you are done with a Scorpio. But you want to transform things. We'll clarify death and extend it, and we'll see what it is you need to let go of and extend it as well. Leo, spirit is saying no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. Some of you are done with a Pisces. But Leo, spirit is calling on you to listen to your intuition. What are you afraid of? There's something hanging right there in your face that you want to go towards. You can see what it is, but you're afraid, so you're just sitting there. And these same things are holding you back. These same bird things. Who are you talking to? Because they ain't giving you no good advice. Not in no South Node energy. And Spirit saying confidence is your key to success, Leo. What are you afraid of? Be confident. Because you're holding on to something that's not allowing you to grow. But in order for you to grow and head towards your, your dream, your wish, you have to let go of control and be fair. It's like the fair thing to do is to walk away and end something somewhere and begin something new. Spirit is saying, like, listen to your intuition. There's no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. Confidence is your key to success. But there's a soulmate type energy here with the Six of Cups. This is Sun and Scorpio's energy. There's a soulmate connection here. This is someone you grew up with, knew for a long time. But this is memories. These are memories you're resting on. I feel like this is the uh, energy you want to reconcile with or come back with, but you want to break from it and you're afraid. And spirit is like, what are you afraid of? There's no need to fear. Be confident. Spirit, why is the Six of Cups and Russ here for Leo? Like you're not going towards this. You're not making the move because you're afraid. Why is the Six of Cups and Russ here for Leo? Could have been a third party situation. At the bottom of the deck, see, that's what I know I was feeling Taurian energy. Hierophant. That's the Taurian card. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and the moon. This is a spirit saying, listen to your intuition. They're trying to spiritually upgrade you. You want forgiveness. You want to confess something, but you're afraid with this moon card. You have fear, but you got all these deep emotions. You're attracted to something, someone that you want a commitment with. You want to take action towards this. But with this Knight of Pentacles energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, all you can do is think about this ending. 
It just stopped. Or it was moving so slow. And with this Page of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, you could have ghosted. But I feel like you're on a break from your soulmate. You're afraid to reach out. Spirits and confidence is your key to success. And I feel like you're standing there wondering if your apology will be accepted. And if the two of you, or whatever this is, can work on this, collaborate, compromise. Leo, you have all must have prizes trying to please everyone. This is the energy of 13. This is Scorpio's energy as well as this energy here. And Spirit is saying, listen, you trying to please everybody. All these cackling hens. And Spirit is saying, you need to end that. Because 13 is death transformation. It's like you're worried about what everybody else think of you. And you're trying to keep up this perception. And spirit is like, why are you letting e your ego get in the way, Leo? They're talking right to you. It's like you're putting on the front. Don't let pride get in your way. Trying to please everybody. Trying to keep up this appearance. And spirit like, no, stop that. When it comes to this Ten of Pentacles, you're stressed out. This could involve a marriage, some money, maybe a finance is stressing you out. Maybe you're not confident you can financially handle this. The Spirit is saying you're stressing and it's so much to be grateful for. There's a promise of financial success for you, a rich and rewarding family life, but you're stressed. It's like your ego over here, like, I'm good. And you're putting up this front to everyone around you that you're trying to please. I don't know who this is. I'm good. I don't want that. I don't need that. But it's not true. Because over here, it's like you're getting more curious, like, you now thinking about if you want this or not. Spirit, you telling Leo, don't let pride get in their way. And they trying to please everybody. You want them to stop that. Leo is stressing over their money or some marriage or some commitment situation. Why is this Ten of Pentacles and anxiety here? Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Three of Swords. One more. Oh, you want to be single. Or you want your money to be right first. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. This is you being afraid and stuck. You have the Lover. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. And you have the Five of Cups. So you feel like you chose wrong. You regret turning your back on this soulmate connection. You, 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 you feel lost. You feel like it's a missed opportunity. And you feel like you stuck with a lover you don't want. Or you feel like you missed the opportunity with a lover because you were afraid to choose. Leo, with this Ten of Pentacles, this Ten of Pentacles, this could have been a third party situation. When it came to this uh, marriage, commitment, living together situation, or some... Um, Something with finances. It's like your wish fulfillment. It's like you, 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 you like, damn, I want to be single. 
but then I want a relationship. Will I be happy in this relationship? Will it be my wish fulfillment? But you feel like you missed the opportunity, but it's your ego. Because the card clearly say it's like your pride getting in the way. This ain't nobody but you doing this to you. Spirit will like, just be confident. They talking right to you. Spirit is saying you heartbroken. You're disappointed. Like this was your wish fulfillment. This is what, what it is you really wanted. But again, all these threes, it could have been a third party that intruded upon this connection. You trying to please some other people. This competition. Some competition here. This is some drama. We're going to clarify this in the extended, Leo. If this is where we part, I'm going to get you some advice. And I wish you well. But if... If you want to dive deeper in the energies, just meet me over in the extended, Leo. Spirit, what advice do you have for Leo regarding this, this reading? What advice do you have for Leo regarding this reading, Spirit? Please and thank you. What advice? Yeah. I can clearly see it's about spiritual growth with that South Node energy because that's what that's about. That's like not wanting to leave some behaviors or mindsets or something behind. It's like I'm just going to do things my way. Spirit, what advice do you have for Leo? And, and the universe is going to put a tower on you. Oh, it's going to be a tower. In the, uh, I already saw the tower. I saw the tower. It's going to come out again and extend it. Spirit, what advice do you have for Leo regarding his reading? Leo, you in love. But your ego, like, maybe I'm talking to 20-year-olds. Uh, no offense, because I can see 20-year-olds going through this, like, my ego. But if you look like older than 25, mm -mm, you need to grow up. And that's what Spirit saying. Spirit, what advice do you have for Leo regarding this reading? Y'all know, hey, welcome to Sex and Tarot. I'm going to tell you the truth. What advice do you have for Leo regarding this reading? People be like, you don't understand. It's hard. No, yes, I do understand. I, I'm different. I'm different. I, I do things a different way. I'm not going to be unhappy for anyone. Leo, you have self-acceptance. Spirit is like, accept the fact you in love. This card really comes out romance. Accept the fact you in love. Spirit is like, you over here keep talking. Some of y'all doing with a Pisces. Talk less, feel more. In other words, stop trying to convince yourself of what you're not. Because I'm looking right at it. Your ass in love, but your ego, whatever. Spirit, like, you need to um, let the spirit undergo the spiritual growth. Because see this South Node energy, that's like you're not spiritually elevated. This is like being so comfortable in your habits. And spirit is like, no, we want you to spiritually grow. Improve your spiritual health. They want you to improve your spiritual health. And they want you to be real with yourself. And I'm sorry, I'm hearing grow up. They like be real with yourself. Some of y'all dealing with Aquarius. Spirit like you need to be real with yourself. Grow up. Leo Spirit is saying there can be harmony. There can be a resolution. But somebody needs to ask for forgiveness. Somebody needs to ask for forgiveness. When I saw that Hierophant card, that clearly tells me that someone wants forgiveness. There's a spiritual lesson here. Someone needs to confess something. 
and would see the bigger picture. Some of you done with a Sagittarius. Spirit were like, look at the bigger picture. Like, get out of your ego. There could be harmony and resolution. Forgive them. Forgive yourself. But it's like, you don't have faith. Because I'm looking, no composure, no believe in your good luck. You don't have faith. You don't believe you, you could get what you want. So that's why spirit like confidence is your key to success. Because over here, it's they no, Leo don't believe in no good luck. No, they don't. And Leo, Leo ain't ready to forgive. Really? You got all these feelings and you just sitting in them because of your ego. Well. You let me know how that work out for you, Leo. Because right here, all this uncertainty you sitting in, it ain't uncertainty. It's not indecision. It's your ego. Leo, Leo, Leo. This will be your edition of Sexy Hair as a Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell, Leo. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video. Peace, Leo. I hope it work out for you, love. Uh, yeah, it depends on who the car chooses Leaving emotional bruises uh, Yeah, and when the truth comes out I know these suckers are clueless So better watch your mouth because she really do this There's no need to speak because